Welcome back students, I am your 7 minute teacher. I will be teaching mathematics for 7 minutes. Are you ready? I will be teaching you factoring difference of 2 squares within 7 minutes. Prerequisite topics. These are the topics that you should already familiarized with. Perfect squares. Principal square root of a perfect square number. Product of the sum and difference of two terms. Let us have a quick run through about the prerequisites. For the principal square root of a perfect square number. We have already known that. The square root of 4 is positive 2 and negative 2. And square of 16 is positive 4 and negative 4. And square root of 100 is positive 10 and negative 10. If we will find the principal square root of a number, we will just omit the negative number. So the principal square root of 4 is 2. The principal square root of 16 is 4. And the principal square root of 100 is 10. And for the prerequisite of product of the sum and difference of two terms. To solve for the product of y plus 3, and y minus 3. That would be y squared minus 9. For m minus 5, and m plus 5. That would be m squared minus 25. In factoring difference of two squares, the product of sum and difference of two squares are the given and we need to find its factors. I think you are ready for factoring difference of two squares. Take note of this. In factoring, we always start with the common monomial factoring before proceeding to different kinds of factoring. Difference of two squares is just the reverse process in finding the product of the sum and difference of two terms. Here are the things that we should remember in factoring using difference of two squares. First, the expression should be a binomial. Second, the operation used should be subtraction. Lastly, each term should be a perfect square. Steps 1. Solve the principal square root of the first and second term. Second, write the factors in this format. Now, let us try this. x squared minus 4. Let us check first if this expression can be factored out using difference of two squares. 1. Is it a binomial? Check. Second, is the operation used subtraction? Check. Third, the terms are perfect squares. Check. Since the conditions are met, now we can use difference of two squares in this expression. We will follow the steps. Step 1. Solve the principal square root of the first and second term. In this case we have the principal square root of x squared is, x. And the principal square root of 4 is, 2. Step 2. Follow the given format. So we have, the quantity of x minus 2 quantity, times, the quantity of x plus 2 quantity. Or, the quantity of x plus 2 quantity, times, the quantity of x minus 2 quantity. So therefore, the factors of x squared minus 4, is either, the quantity of x minus 2 quantity, times, the quantity of x plus 2 quantity or the quantity of x plus 2 quantity, times, the quantity of x minus 2 quantity. Let us have another example. 9y squared minus 100. Let us check first if this expression can be factored out using difference of two squares. 1. Is it a binomial? Check. Second, is the operation used subtraction? Check. Third, the terms are perfect squares. Check. Since the conditions are met, now we can use difference of two squares in this expression. Step 1. Solve the principal square root of the first and second term. 
In this case we have the principal square root of 9y squared is 3y. And the principal square root of 100 is 10. Step 2. Follow the given format. So we have the quantity of 3y minus 10 quantity times the quantity of 3y plus 10 quantity or the quantity of 3y plus 10 quantity times the quantity of 3y minus 10 quantity. So therefore, the factors of 9y squared minus 100 is either the quantity of 3y minus 10 quantity times the quantity of 3y plus 10 quantity or the quantity of 3y plus 10 quantity times the quantity of 3y minus 10 quantity. Let us have the last example. 12x squared minus 300. Let us check first if this expression can be factored out using difference of two squares. 1. Is it a binomial? Check. Second, is the operation used subtraction? Check. Third, the terms are perfect squares. No. Since, the third condition was not met, we will do the factoring using GCF. For step 1, find the GCF of each terms. For the first term 12x squared, we have 12 times x times x. For the second term, 300, we have 12 times 25. The common factor is 12. So the GCF is 12. Second, divide each term of the given expression with the GCF. Our expression is 12x squared minus 300. So we need to divide 12x squared divided by 12. That would be x squared. And negative 300 divided by 12, that would be negative 25. And the third step, the factors of the given expression are the GCF and the quotient in step 2. So, the factors of 12x squared minus 300 are 12 and x squared minus 25. You can see that the second factor can be still factorable using difference of two squares. Because the conditions are met, now we can use difference of two squares in this expression. Step 1. Solve the principal square root of the first and second term. In this case we have the principal square root of x squared is, x. And the principal square root of 25 is, 5. Step 2. Follow the given format. So we have, the quantity of x minus 5 quantity, times, the quantity of x plus 5 quantity. Or, the quantity of x plus 5 quantity, times, the quantity of x minus 5 quantity. So therefore, the complete factors of 12x squared minus 300 is either 12 times the quantity of x minus 5 quantity times the quantity of x plus 5 quantity or 12 times the quantity of x plus 5 quantity times the quantity of x minus 5 quantity. That's it. We are done in factoring polynomials with difference of two squares. See you next video.